everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Sorry I haven't uploaded in like two weeks. I've been a bit busy lately but now I am back bringing you my May wrap up. I have no clue like what month it is anymore. I swear yesterday it was like January but here we are in June now. So I read six books in May which I'm okay with. I was hoping to kind of read more but I actually ended up DNFing one book this month. So yeah, let's just get started with the books that I did read. The first book that I finished was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Some of you may know that I've been reading this book since January, but I finally finished it in May. And this was my first time ever reading the series, so I ended up giving this 3 out of 5 stars, or like 3.5 out of 5 stars. I liked it, but for like the first probably like two-thirds of the book, I found myself not wanting to pick it back up while I was reading it, hence why it took me so many months to finish it. But overall, I still enjoyed it, and yeah, that's about all I have to say. Next, I read Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. This book follows a girl who is basically allergic to everything, so she's been quarantined to her house her entire life, and she can't see anybody, and then this really cute boy moves in next door, and you know, we can all predict what happens next. As you probably know, this book is really popular on booktube. But for the longest time, I had no interest in reading it. I'm still not a huge contemporary person, but then it was turned into a movie. I fell in love with the movie trailer, so I automatically just wanted to read the book. Unfortunately, I only ended up giving this book two stars. Maybe it's because it was so hyped up, so my expectations were a little bit high, but I just wasn't really impressed with the story. I liked the writing and the story was cute, but overall it was just kind of underwhelming and overhyped to me. I also had a lot of problems with the choices that these characters made. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but like if you have read the book, I think what the nurse did letting Ollie into the house was not right and it was not like her call to be able to do that. Two, Madeline did everything that she did for her love for this boy, and I feel like there should have been other reasons as to why she was doing it. Also, I didn't like a lot of the choices Ollie did. If you knew somebody was allergic to everything and that if you touched them they could die, then you shouldn't touch them. Like, I don't care how much you love somebody, if something could kill them, you should want to do whatever is in their best interest, and if that means staying away from them, then that's what you should do. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this book. Two stars. Underwhelming. Overhyped. Next, I read Geekerella by Ashley Poston, and I actually did a full review for this book, so I will leave a link to it up in the corner if you want to learn more of my thoughts. But basically, this book is a Cinderella retelling, but the main character is really geeky, so there are a lot of, like, geeky references and stuff like that. I gave this book 3, 3.5 out of 5 stars. This is another one that was kind of underwhelming and overhyped, so... Yeah. Next, I read Enclave by Anne Aguirre. Still don't know if I'm saying that right, but this book is like a post-apocalyptic slash dystopian kind of book. To me, this book was a lot like if Divergent and the Maze Runner mixed together. So basically, it follows this girl called Deuce who lives in this society that's lives in the tunnels like under New York City. In this society, which is run mostly by young people because in this world people don't live very long or it seemed more like they age really fast rather than like just having short lives. It's like they physically age very fast. So in this society, when you're 15 years old, you get picked for one of three jobs, either a builder, a breeder, or a hunter. So the main character that we follow, Deuce, has always wanted to be a hunter or huntress rather. And basically what the hunters do is that they go off into the different tunnels and they have to find food for their little enclave. And they also have to fight off these kind of zombie-like creatures that lurk in the tunnels. That's basically all I'm going to say about the plot. I think it's better to go into this book kind of not knowing exactly what's going to happen. But I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. Like I said, I felt like it was a mix between Divergent and The Maze Runner, which I didn't really like The Maze Runner, but I really liked Divergent. So I really enjoyed this book. Unfortunately, I tried moving on to the sequel, which was called Outpost, and I got about 100 or so pages into that book and then I ended up DNFing it because that book almost turned into a historical fiction kind of book rather than 
post-apocalyptic futuristic book. If you've read this series and the second book then you understand why it kind of turned into a bit of a historical fiction kind of thing, but I didn't really like it so I DNF'd it. And the next book was actually a reread for me and that was Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Most of you probably know what this book is about, but if you don't it's basically a sci-fi version of Cinderella. It's the first book in the Lunar Chronicles. It's very popular on booktube and I actually read this book last year and it was actually about a year ago exactly that I read it. And when I read it the first time, I liked it. It was kind of an okay read, but I definitely think that it was one of those reads where it was so hyped up that my expectations were just too high, so I didn't really enjoy it because the second time I read it, I gave it 4.75 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it. I don't know what was wrong with me the first time I read it, but I want to go back and smack myself in the face. But I absolutely love this book. I'm currently reading Scarlet, and I'm loving that as well. I know I've already said the word love like 50 billion times, but I loved the characters in this book. It's amazing like how fast I got attached to these characters, and I'm really excited to read the rest of their story. So yeah, this is the next book that I read. And then the final book that I read in May was Freaks by Amanda Hawking. I'm actually planning on doing a full review of this book because I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely adored this book, so I want to give it its own little special review. I haven't posted it yet, but do look out for that on my channel because I absolutely love this book. Those were all of the books that I read in May. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite book was that you read in May. Mine was definitely Freaks. I absolutely loved that book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!